Harbor brings an OS X inspired dock to your home screen. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. We are talking about Harbor today and as you can see my dock looks significantly better different than it normally does on stock iOS. You get the magnification as you scroll your finger along the dock here, and then all you do is that you just release your finger when an app icon for the app that you wanna launch is at the top. So for instance, if I wanna launch TweetBot, I just hover my finger over that and release TweetBot, and it launches TweetBot just like that. And I can do the same thing if I wanna launch, I don't know, uh, Spotify, just release like that or any other app for that matter. Again, it is called Harbor, ladies and gentlemen, and there is a preference panel that you'll find in the stock settings app. We'll launch that here. Let's scroll down until we find the preferences for Harbor. Here it is. And now you'll see several different sliders. You'll have a kill switch at the top. You also have some bounce options and some additional options as well. Now at the top, of course, you have your kill switch. If you disable that, you will need to respring your device most of the other settings can be changed and altered without a respring. So you have your animation duration slider, your margin slider, your wave height slider. So if I turn the wave height all the way up there, notice what happens. See how high the apps go, they wave up uh, just like that. And I can turn it back down to something reasonable. You also have your width. Um, you can adjust those as you, as you like to have the exact look that you wanna have. And now you have something called bounce options. Now, bounce options allow you to identify apps that have notifications that, or that receive notifications. Uh, and you could set the bounce to never, which will, it'll never show, never bounce the app icon in the Harbor dock when you receive a notification, or you can have it bounce one time when you receive a notification, twice, three times, every few seconds, every few minutes, etc. So what we'll do is we'll turn this on to every two seconds, and that way, anytime I receive a notification uh, for a specific app that is in my Harbor dock, it will bounce every two seconds. And kind of let me know what's going on. It'll also show the bounce in running apps and on the lock screen if you wanna do that. So I have two toggles for that and I have that turned on. So let me just show you what I mean here. Now, I don't have any incoming new notifications for any of the apps in my Harbor dock, but I'm going to open up TweetBot on my Mac here. Just bear with me for a second. And I'm going to send myself a test message here. So T-E-S-T -E and enter. All right, now you see that notification. You see the uh, TweetBot app icon is bouncing, indicating, hey, you have a new notification. Uh, so that is nice. You can turn banners off if you want to to really get the effect working in tandem with Harbor as well. So I'm going to open up the settings app here and notice you have a bouncing notification still there. So it, it shows that yes, you have a notification in TweetBot even though I'm in another app altogether, which is really, really cool. Uh, so obviously TweetBot's bouncing. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on TweetBot, launch that. Obviously I have a new message or some new notification and the bouncing stops. So that is what bounce options do. Um, one thing though that I've noticed with bounce options, it's kind of a negative thing, but I'm gonna send myself another test message. Okay. All right, so I just received another test message here. And now you see the bouncing. Now I'm gonna go back to my home screen. Now on the 6 Plus, notice, I'm gonna put my device into landscape mode. And now you see the bouncing there, it bounces still vertically instead of horizontally. It would be nice if the bouncing happened and it came out from the, uh, the dock that is docked on the right side of the screen. If it came out horizontally so that I could see it. Because if you're in an app now, and you have that bouncing, guess what? You don't see anything because it's bouncing horizontally and not, um, or bouncing vertically and not horizontally. So that's just a little nitpick there, not a huge deal. Obviously the bouncing still happens when you put your device back into portrait mode, but that's just something to keep in mind. It's kind of nitpicky, but yeah, just something to consider. Now there's also an option flush with bottom edge. So you can place the dock flush with the bottom edge of the screen. If you wanna do that, I have that enabled. You can show app name indicator when uh, hovering over your app. So let me show you what that looks like. So it shows you what apps there are. Pretty cool. And there's also a show app state dot. So just like on the Mac where you have a little dots running indicator dots, uh, you can do that here. So you can see the apps that are running Obviously, there's more running apps than that. It doesn't actually show them immediately. 
but I think you need to launch an app first. Um, let's see. All right, launch an app, come back out. Well, it shows the TweetBot's running now. There are other apps running, like Spotify is obviously running, uh, but the app indicators don't show up immediately. You kind of have to launch those apps first, but now you see the little running indicators below the running apps there. So it doesn't work perfectly, but it's still pretty good. You also have use normal doc background if you want to do that for compatibility. I don't recommend doing that. It doesn't look very good. But overall, folks, Harbor is a very interesting jailbreak tweak. It's great for notifications. It's also great for just launching apps easily. And you can have a ton of different apps down in your dock, and you can edit those apps right on the fly. Let me just show you. I'm going to throw Alien Blue in here. I'm going to throw OmniFocus down here. I'm going to throw Long Screen down here. And you could fit a ton of apps in here because of the magnification, just like you know, just like it works on a Mac, you can have a really little dock, but then you can just hover over those apps and then access all of those easily. And just by hovering over them and accessing them. Oops, didn't really do that too right, but you get the point. So I'm just going to hover over. If I want to launch the uh, TweetBot app, just release while I'm hovering over the TweetBot app. And you could fit tons of different apps in there. And when you want to edit, all you do is you tap hold and just, just drag them up off of the dock just like that. And you can just put them back any order you want, just like that. Super easy, super simple, and you can still launch your apps and just use your iPhone as normal, but you can fit a whole bunch more app icons down in that dock. Courtesy of Harbor, it is $2.99 on the Big Boss repo. It brings the OS X style dock redesigned for touchscreens to your iPhone, and it works really well. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but if you're looking for a, an alternative dock for your iPhone, this is definitely one you want to check out. It is one of the best ones I've seen, and it brings really good animations, it brings notifications, and it's totally customizable as far as animations are concerned. So let me know what you guys think about Harbor down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.